All right, how we doing, everybody? Who is old Pops back with a block? Now, listen, this is the Pops cast. All your music news and more, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Now, that being said, we're going to get into the music news first. Uh, on September 1st, just a couple days ago, a new show premiered on YouTube, uh, Geffen Records. And Hybe Labels have teamed up uh, to produce a new girl group show made up of performers from around the world. I guess they're doing the same type of thing that JYP is doing with Republic Records right now, which we're watching, by the way, and we'll have two episodes up this week. Um, The A2K. Fun show so far. If you want us to check out the uh, new one from them, we will be glad to do that. I don't know if we can do it on, on uh, you know, here on tube, but I we'll find out, okay? Uh, I don't remember what the show is called, to be honest with you. I didn't write it down, so. All right. Uh, there's also a new docuseries on Hulu about NCT 127 and their future plans. So I don't know what's going on with that yet. I haven't seen it yet. Y'all want us to see that? Send us a link. We'll get it done, okay? Uh, That'll have to be done on the, because it's Hulu, it'll have to be done on the Patreon, but we're glad to do that. Now, just to let y'all know, uh, speaking of music news, we just put a brand new concert over on the Patreon on Friday night, right? And we got another one coming up on Friday. This Friday. Big concert this Friday. Um, If you want to join us on the Patreon, my friends, starts at $1, right? At $1, you can get in, you can see everything, right? Be the most reasonable concert you ever go to. And we have a lot of fun. And we do things a little different over there, so you may enjoy it. Um, If you do, let me know. And if you want to get a request guaranteed every month, you can jump up to the $3 level. $3 a month, you get a request guaranteed every month. All you got to do is tell me what it is, and we'll get it done. Now, that's whether that's or for over there or over here. Makes no difference, okay? One of the things we got going on. Um, we also have the Discord up and running. It's the same as the channel name here, Block Music, spelled the same way, okay? Um. Yeah, so jump over there if you want. Join us for that. We got a lot of stuff going on over there, what have you. I don't get on there as much as I'd like to, but I'm going to get on there more as we go. Um, now, Adele uh, stopped her show to defend a fan that was bothered by security for standing up and singing. Come on, man. Come on. That's what concerts are all about. Standing up, singing, having a good time, raising your fist in the air, you know. Whatever the case may be, it's all a good time. That's what you're supposed to do at a concert. Come on, security. Really? Jesus. And I'm glad she stopped the show for that. You don't see enough of that, right? Uh, You do in K-pop, of course. But around the rest of the music industry, you don't see enough of that. Uh, I know Dave Draymond from Disturbed has done it too. He stopped concerts to take care of fans, what have you. Uh, I know Sabaton has done it. Yeah, come on, people. Really? Relax. It's a concert. As long as they're not fighting or tearing anything up, relax. Uh, There is no confirmation on the Blackpink contract yet. However, Jisoo and Rosé have dropped... Big hints, I guess you'd say, about their 8th anniversary. So, I'm not looking for Blackpink to go anywhere. Um, (laughs) Yeah. And all the big music companies are saying that it's all looking good for a renewal. So, as soon as we find out, we'll let you all know. All right? Just as soon as we find out, we'll let you know. Now, this is a bit of music news and a tour going on. Hannah B.A. 
the band out of Japan, metal band. Great band. If you haven't seen them yet, we do have one of theirs up on the on the channel here. Uh, we have more coming. Great stuff. A uh, lot of fun. This band is really, really good. They're touring here in the U.S. Um, matter of fact, they'll be at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival in Alton, Virginia uh, on the 7th through the 10th. So this coming weekend, um, they're going to be there. Next weekend. Yeah, this coming weekend. Uh, there are tickets still available for that. Check StubHub and... Um, what is it? StubHub and Ticketmaster, I believe. Uh, or you can check Hanabia's... Hanabia's um, website. Okay? September 13th, they'll be in Spartanburg, South Carolina. 18th in Houston, Texas. 20th in Dallas, Texas. There are still tickets available for that one. Uh, there's also tickets available for New Kensington, Pennsylvania. And New York, New York. Uh, September 23rd in Pennsylvania. September 24th in New York. Uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Joliet, Illinois. The 26th and 27th. And then the 28th, they'll be in Detroit, Michigan. Those are all sold out. Uh, the 29th, they'll be in Des Moines, Iowa. That is not sold out. Tickets still available. And the 30th, they'll be in Denver, Colorado. Tickets still, still available. So, yeah. That ought to be a good tour there. They're, they're a lot of fun. That band is really, really good. So, check them out, my friends. Um, now, as you know, on Mondays, for those that have been here a while, on Mondays we always do a, we do a deep dive into somebody up here on the Wall of Flames. Well, today... It's these ladies right behind my head. Right there. Dreamcatcher. And I love doing these deep dives because we get into stuff we really didn't know about the ladies. And gentlemen. Um, we do have more coming. Everybody that's on the wall is already on the schedule. Now, if there's somebody you want us to do a deep dive into, you let us know. And we'll add them to the list. Okay? Okay. But today we have Dream Dreamcatcher, and then we have a block of Dreamcatcher this afternoon. Okay, including their brand new one that was just released, I don't know, a week ago, I guess. So we're going to have some fun with this. Giyu, the leader. Uh, she was born Kim Minji on May 17, 1994, in Daejeon, South Korea. Uh, she's five foot six or 167 centimeters, so she's pretty tall. Um, and her nightmare now, Dreamcatcher is based on your nightmares, right? Which is really cool because of the the kind of music they do, the mix of music they do. It's really cool. Her nightmare is fear of being chased. I like that, and her English name is Lily. She has one younger brother, and she's a former Minx, former Minx member. Uh, Minx was what Dreamcatcher was before they were Dreamcatcher. Um, really poppy stuff. If y'all want to see some of that, you let us know. We'll get it done, uh, of course. Uh, the group says she's a very carefree person who never skip, skips meals. She doesn't like to skip meals. I, I didn't know that. That's really cool, though. She's also nicknamed the Pink Princess. <laughs> I like that. Hey, she had never, this is one we didn't know. She had never dyed her hair before the Fly High promotions. But she dyed it red for that and absolutely loved it. So she has dyed it red since again. That's really cool. I like that. Here's another one I, I didn't know. Um, and I think this is awesome because we love them too right there she is a huge baby metal fan that's cool uh she's 
also loves all the girl groups and would love to team with all of them um, on a stage or at a festival. Put all the girl groups in one festival. That would be awesome. Um, I know we'll never see that. We've talked about that. But she'd love to see it too. So, yeah, maybe there's a chance, you know. That'd be cool. I'd love to see that. Be awesome. Uh, let's see. She originally wanted to be a police officer or own a macaroon store. Okay. A bakery. I like that. That's cool. And says her, I, uh, well, she was, she trained for two and a half years. So she didn't train all that long uh, in, in standard two and a half years. Not, not bad at all. Um, says her ideal type of guy is someone who compliments her well and can control her a bit. She's a bit flighty. Nutty, silly, you know, <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. Sua, the main dancer and choreographer. She's also a choreographer. Uh, Gio, by, Gio, by the way, is a leader, is the leader and one of the main vocalists. Uh, Sua was born Kim Bora on August 10th, 1994 in Changwon, South Korea. She has one older brother, and she is 162 centimeters tall, or five foot three and three quarters. So she's she's a short little lady. Her English name is Alice. Cool. And her nightmare is the fear of restraint. That's cool. Uh, she was a CJE and M trainee, and entered a girl group competition I don't know what won it didn't say I can, I never could find it I did look I couldn't find it though she has the smallest hands and feet among the members so she's got tiny little hands and feet that's funny considering she's 5 foot 3 you know in 3 quarters that's about right uh, they say her point of attraction is her cool personality, and she's also very loud, <laughs> which we know that. <laughs> she's She's got a heck of a voice, though, I'll tell you that. She is a choreo specialist, a dance machine, and loves to draw and watch dramas. Okay. She's also a big Avengers fan, which is cool. I like that. Uh, she loves shoes, hamburgers, walking, dancing, and lipstick. Okay. That's cool. She trained for five years. So she trained a while. Uh, Sua also says she likes guys that are sexy and like her more than she likes them. <laughs> well, we all love you, Sua, so, you know. And that's Sua's deep dive. I like that. That's, see, there's some cool facts in there, like she's an Avengers fan. I like that. Loves hamburgers and walking and shoes. and That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, Miss Xi'an. She was born Li Xi'an on October 1st, 1995 in Daegu, South Korea. She has one older sister, and she's a former Minx member. Um, and she's five foot five, or one hundred and sixty-six centimeters. Okay, and her English name is Monica. That's cool. I like that. Uh, her favorite color is blue. She doesn't like exercise. She's not an exercise fan. She's also not a fan of shrimp. Or making mistakes. She doesn't like to make mistakes. My kind of lady. I don't like mistakes either. I don't like to make mistakes. Mistakes happen. Nothing we can do about that. But I don't like to make them either. I understand that. Uh, she plays piano and loves to play games. Okay. I didn't know she played piano. And she's a big, big fan of the metal band Warlock. 
I know who Warlock is. Good band. She trained for two and a half years, so not all that long either. Uh, she likes to watch the Avengers with Sua. She's a big Avengers fan as well. And it says her favorite kind of people, uh, kind of guys, are someone she can connect with and talk to that matches her well. Okay. I like that. All right, now we're up to Miss Hondong. Uh, she was born Hondong on 20, March 26, 1996. She's 165 centimeters tall, or 5 foot 5. And her nightmare is scopophobia. Or the excessive fear of being watched. See? Yeah. I don't like to be... I mean, I don't mind being watched like here. You know what I mean? But like being watched like somebody watching over your shoulders. Oh, no. Uh-uh. No, no. That drives me crazy. I don't fear much, but that would drive me nuts. Her English name is Della. <laughs> this is funny. A funny fact about her. She loves chocolate, but sneezes when she eats it. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> uh, she says she wasn't. if she wasn't in Dreamcatcher, she'd be a flight attendant. Flight attendant comes up a lot. I see that a lot in the group so far. I like that. That's really cool. What a great job, too, huh? See the world as you're working? That'd be a really cool job. She's very shy. I didn't know that either. She only trained for six months, so she trained a very, very short time. Very good at what she does, evidently. And likes guys that are kind and tall. Well, okay. That's cool. All right, let's see who we got now. Miss Yuyan. She was born Kim Yuyan on January 7th, 1997. And she's 168 centimeters tall, about five foot six. That's cool. Tall lady as well. Uh, her nightmare is mesophobia. Or the fear of getting lost. And she was born in Incheon, South Carolina. Uh, South Korea. South Carolina. Who I can't think today, y'all. <laughs> she has one older brother, one older sister, and one younger brother. So she's four kids deep in her family. I like that. Uh, she studied, the, studied in the Philippines when she was young. Her dad, I think, worked in the Philippines for, for a time. And her English name is Rachel. She speaks fluent Korean and English and is learning Mandarin and German. So she's a, a studier. Studious. I like that. <laughs> this is a funny fact about her, too. Says her teeth get itchy when she is nervous. <laughs> okay, that's a wild one. That's that's a new one. Uh, she's a Harry Styles fan. I don't know who that is, but okay. And she can play guitar. I didn't know that either. Uh, she loves to play video games and watch The Simpsons before bedtime. All right. I do know what The Simpsons are. I've never watched an episode, but I know what they are. Um... The members say that she's the most forgetful, like she forgets stuff, but she's also very silly, so. She trained for a year and a half, and she she was a Minx member as well. And she likes hard-working people. Well, again, my kind of lady, because I love hard-working people. Love that. Dami! My alt bias in Dreamcatcher. And by the way, 
to let you all know if you, this is your first time with us, Dreamcatcher was my introduction to K-pop. When we first started the channel, we did a metal band first, right? Because I was a metalhead. Complete and total. Like, he, you know. And somebody goes, you know, if you like metal, you got to check out this band. Okay, sure, why not? I, I kind of knew when we started we'd get, you know, little different things. But I never expected what we've gotten. And I never expected to be a fan of what we've gotten. But yes, I am a Dreamcatcher stand all the way to the core. I am Insomnia. Um, I'm a multi-stand, but I love, in, you know, Dreamcatcher. They'll always have a place because they were my introduction. Um, anyway, she, let's see, Dami, my alt bias, born Lee Yubin on March 17th, 1997 in Seoul, South Korea. She is 163 centimeters tall or about five foot four. Okay. <laughs> well, this, this matches the way she raps for sure. Her nightmare is agliophobia, or the extreme fear of physical pain. And when she raps, it sounds like she's going to inflict serious pain on you. Um, she can also sing her behind off as well, by the way. She has one older brother who has been in the, been in the military for many years. That's cool. He's been a soldier for several years. Uh, her English name is Emma. Dami is an animal lover that says she would love to have a pet bear. Okay, Dami. Come on, really? A pet bear? What are you, Grizzly Adams now? <laughs> uh, she's an avid reader that is extremely intelligent. Well... Avid readers usually are, so that's cool. She trained for a year and a half. They didn't really train all that long. Boy, they were quick, so they were very good at what they did when they first started, evidently. Um, says her ideal type is someone she can learn from and that can talk a lot compared to her. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Uh, and she's the lead rapper. Now, Miss Guyon, we're down to the Machne. Born Lee Guyon on February 3rd, 1999. Ooh, she is young. In Songnam, Song, Songnam, South Korea. Sorry if I said that wrong, y'all. Y'all please correct me. Uh, she is 160 centimeters tall, about five foot three. So she's a short little lady too. Powerful, but short. Uh, she was an honor student in school for three years. Very versed in math. So she's an intelligent lady too. Love that. Her English name is Lucy. And her nightmare is basophobia or the fear of falling. Big difference than the fear of heights, but they go well with one another. Uh, she is a master at making seaweed soup. Well, I'd love to try that. The members say she is like a walking search engine because she remembers their schedules well. <laughs> she got a good memory. I like that. She doesn't really have an ideal type, but likes people with a nice smile and a good voice. Well, that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. And that, my friends, wraps up our deep dive into Dreamcatcher. Now, we have three Dreamcatchers on the schedule for this afternoon. Gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I know this has been a long one, but it's okay. 
If there's any news that we need to know about, y'all let me know. We're glad to get it on. Um, and if there's any, you know, concert schedules that we don't know about or, or big events coming up, y'all let me know and we'll get it on, okay? Um... My friends, don't forget to check the Patreon. We got a lot of stuff down the shop. I will be putting Pops Cast gear down there eventually. Uh, we're, we're getting the new logo done for the channel. Uh, it's being worked on now. It should be revealed around October. Uh, we also have polls up on the community page. Uh, we have a teen idol poll. And, we you know, who was your teen idol? Not the teen idols but who was your teen idol um for friday nights for a couple weeks to see how it goes go check it out and see got some good voting on it already plus we have the headliner poll the the bigs poll uh for saturday nights um yeah and if there's somebody who is not on the wall of flames up here yet that you want us to do a deep dive on you let us know we'll get it done my friends all right other than that, y'all have an absolutely fantastic day. I will see you later. This old pops. We are out. <laughs>